How's it going guys and gals? This is a great divine one and today I'm going to show you how to take out this big beast troll. Now there are two directions. After you have uh, come across the castle, uh, you have entered the Stormville cliffside, you worked your way around the castle to Rampart Tower and after you come out of rampart tower you're going to go to the lift side chamber and then you're going to activate that grace and then you're going to go over to schedule cell and activate that grace so i'm going to show you where those two graces are so this is out after you have come out of uh, this location right here the rampart tower and you've taken out all these guys my suggestion is you can use arrows or you can just bait them one by one in the doorway uh, and take them out as well. It's up to you, whichever way you prefer. I, I took them out and baited them and made them come into the doorway one by one. Uh-oh. Got this dog. Alright, so there we go. So he's taken out. <laughs> and this boss right here. Well, little mini boss, I, I would say use your magical staff and just use magic on him uh, from a distance. You don't need to get confrontational with him. Just go ahead and use magic on him and take him out. You can also run back through that doorway because he will chase you and he can't fit through the doorway. So he's a little round and a little bumpy. So yeah, he's not going to fit through that doorway. Okay, guys. <laughs> So you can run back in the doorway and use magic on him. But right now I am at this location. I am at the lift side chamber. Okay. So you're gonna want to come up here inside the lift side chamber. Now this door right here is locked. You can't get through. So there's another way in just like inside the other part of the castle. So there's a lift right here. And you're gonna pull this lever. It's going to bring down the lift and you can take back up. And I'll show you the back way to get to that big troll looking thing. So you're going to come down here. When you enter this area, there's going to be a there's some teapots. Alrighty. So there's a big teapot as well that's in here. And you could just Big spot, I'm gonna do a charge attack. And the big teapot is all the way in the back. Oh, and he will come out spinning too. So my suggestion is for the big teapot, like I said, use your doorways. Door your doorways are just wonderful. Okay guys. So you want to target him auto lock on on the big old teapot, a big old crack pot, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> and just use magic on him. And take him out. And the staff that I am using is the Meteorite staff. And uh, this is an excellent magical staff. It's really, really, really is. I love it. It's, it's just really OP. So then I'm just going to go ahead and slash these crack pots. And just go ahead and take them out one by one. Use a charge attack. That way I'm getting more power. I'm taking most of their health. Right. And then there's a bunch of teapots too as well. I just take them out and there's gonna be a little couple of things to pick up over here. And you're gonna go down here as well. And there's gonna be a little ball uh, that you're gonna take out as well. It's gonna give you a reward and there is going to be also a piece of uh, an item that you can pick off this this body right here so then what we're gonna do is go ahead and work our way down and make sure you guys have magic potions and your health as well your health files and your magic vials because you will need them and I'm gonna activate this summon the summon stone right here I'm not going to be calling anyone per se and summoning them but I do want to activate it so 
Now we are here in this location at the other grace. And this grace is called this this secluded cell. That's the secluded cell right here. And it's right across from the lift side chamber when you go up on the lift. Okay, guys? So you want to activate this grace right here. Well, I need to put on my glasses. I almost couldn't read that. <laughs> Now, I haven't gone in here. I haven't traversed the mist. So, I'm going to wait to do that. I just want to show you how to take out this guy right here. Now, I could sneak up on him. And, as I said, use your door your doorways, guys. Okay? And we're going to come up from behind him and attack him from behind. You can use magic on him. You can use your, your weapon as well. I'm going to sneak attack upon him. And I'm going to run back inside the doorway. Because he can't fit through there. He is too tall and too big. So I'm like, ah, oh, run, 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 run. Because <laughs> you're going to have the other guys chasing you as well. So you want to get, ooh, uh-oh, okay. Well, his breath is kind of, kind of harsh. I'll take it, his breath's kind of harsh. So I'm going to use my health file and I, I want to bait his little guardians over here in this doorway so I don't know if he's gonna they're gonna come inside but I'm just gonna walk back and forth to bait them and then I can take them out very easily uh -oh. always use your your walls for cover as well So now, we got to be careful of his breath, guys, because it's kind of harsh when he blows, when he blows that breath, it's going to take some of your health off. So what I want to do is I want to use a magic fire and use my magic staff and I'm going to auto target him and I'm going to back up. Watch out for that breath. Oh my goodness gracious. Somebody needs to brush their teeth. Yes, yeah, somebody needs to brush their teeth, man. Okay, so I'm going to use another health vial. Make sure you guys got your health and your magic vials. I'm just going to auto-target him. And when I think he's going to use his breath, I just duck back in the doorway. Okay, here he's going to come with his sword, guys. So I want to use another one of my magic potions. I'm going to auto-target him again. Uh, yep, there goes that breath. Someone needs to press. So press toothpaste or something. So this is just an easy way to take him out, guys. And of course, he's going to bait you to come back outside. Gonna run back in, and I'm gonna use another magic vial. Uh oh, oh, there goes! Oh my goodness! Someone give him a tic tac, please. There you go, and that's how you take him out. See? This is very simple, very easy, guys. Always use your doorways and your walls for cover. That way you won't take so much damage. So, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. I am growing my channel and I appreciate all the support. And so, Minyana, I'll be putting out more video content, content for Elden Ring. Enjoy. Take care.